In step 5A, the costing engineer needs to deliver an early cost estimate for the EvoGuard double-seated intelligent valve before detailed design starts. Based on the cost structure and the master data of the existing classic valve, the cost engineer updates and revises them according to the new requirements and sets up an initial cost estimate for the intelligent valve. With the help of SAP product lifecycle costing features and extensibilities, reliability of the early costs is improved. My home workspace is the first point of entry when starting the application, which shows my recently opened calculation versions. The cockpit is the main entry point for my projects and related calculations. There are also search capabilities to find certain projects, calculations, or versions. The folder cost estimates where the EvoMix acts as the overall folder to manage the cost estimates regarding the EvoGuard double-seated valve and the EvoMix machine. Under that folder, we have a project called EvoGuard double-seated valve. This consists of eight calculation versions, which manages the calculation versions for the respective max bomb, classic valve, and intelligent valve, including customer or plant-specific versions. Another project is the EvoMix, which includes the cost estimates for the EvoMix machine, in which the valve acts as an assembly. The project EvoGuard double-seated valve is used to organize all valve-related calculations and versions and enables reporting on the defined scope. Default values are configured. These values are automatically applied to each new calculation, but can also be adapted. Authorizations have been provided for this project by assigning users and other user groups to control what users are allowed to do and to see. To generate the initial cost estimate for the intelligent or smart valve, the costing engineer copies the cost structure of the classic valve into a new calculation and uses it as a basis to set up the cost structure for the intelligent valve. To start it, the costing engineer will first have to look into the existing calculation for the master bomb and the classic valve to understand what cost items they have as a basis. Then, they can use the copy of the calculation version of the existing classic valve as their workspace and add or remove cost items into it to generate an initial cost estimate for the new smart valve. Alternatively, the costing engineer can also set up cost structures by importing from an Excel or their ERP. According to the new requirements, which a costing engineer can see in SAP Intelligent Product Design Engineering, they understand that by replacing the mechanical head with an intelligent head assembly, that they can have a rough structure of the intelligent valve. Therefore, the costing engineer uses a copy of the cost structure of the classic valve as their workspace, removing the mechanic head and adding a temporary material and put it in an estimate price manually to see an initial cost estimate. The costing engineer can leverage features such as layout, highlight, filter, and custom fields to make their work more convenient and efficient. Apart from manually setting up cost structures for the intelligent valve, the costing engineer can also set up cost structures in other ways, such as importing it from an Excel sheet or from their ERP. Now the costing engineer has to set up an initial cost structure for the intelligent valve. 
Next, the costing engineer needs to help it match to a proper material price by updating the master data. By doing so, they are able to get an early cost estimate. If a certain material data are not available in SAP Product Lifecycle Costing, the cost engineer can use the master data upload tool or import it directly from their ERP as an alternative method rather than creating it manually. The costing engineer can also adjust material price if desired. They can also manually set other preferred price for an item by set price. Additionally, the costing engineer can adopt different price strategies for both material or activity prices to decide prices from which price source should be taken from which order. At the same time, the costing engineer can also define specific material prices for a plant, vendor, customer, project, and different validity periods. By maintaining respective item categories for the calculation version, SAP Product Lifecycle Costing will match proper prices automatically. If the costing engineer wants to simulate multiple items with their specific price, they can use a mass change functionality to quickly change their attributes. Normally, the costing engineer also needs to calculate the production overhead. And with the costing sheet, they can simulate the overhead costs already from the very beginning. To allow SAP Product Lifecycle Costing to calculate that automatically, they can set up a costing sheet with a customizable logic and adopt it to their calculation version. The costing engineer can also set up cost component splits to further slice and dice their cost estimates so that they can have an overview of how their cost estimates are being distributed. This is available both at the version and at assembly or line item level. The costing engineer can configure custom fields to meet their business scenario. With several predefined custom fields, they can type in target margin and sales price manually. Then SAP Product Lifecycle Costing will calculate how much the target costs and revenue are according to the predefined logic. In the profitability analysis layout, already from the beginning, the costing engineer can see the current total cost is much higher than the calculated target cost, which is 41,600. That gives them the hint that they need to further reduce their costs if they want to achieve a 25% margin out of their current market price. Already at an early phase, the costing engineer can use an add-in called Cost by Confidence Level to have an impression on how mature or reliable their cost estimate is. As the intelligent valve or the smart valve will be a sub-assembly of the whole Evomex machine, the costing engineer can also set up initial costs for the Evomex machine by referencing its main assemblies and summing up their costs together with the cost of the rest components. Here, the costing engineer can reference calculation versions for several main assemblies, including the valve costs and the total cost of the Evomex machine. They can also adjust the quantity of the reference versions to meet the bill of material requirement. <music>